Hey there, everybody. I'm Tracy Shaw, Principal Consultant at Thread Strategies, and I'm here with my amazing colleague, Holly Richardson, who's a director at Thread Strategies. Um, we, we are really grateful that you've joined us today for Threading It Together, our training series where we discuss our favorite tips and tricks for nonprofit fundraising. So today, we're going to be talking about welcome series, and we're going to be talking about three specific things that we think uh, you should consider if you are building a welcome series or as you approach that topic of welcome series. So the first thing I wanted to make sure is that we're all on the same page when it comes to what is a welcome series. So just very basic, a welcome series is a set of communications that goes out to your constituents after a specific behavior. For instance, a donation, a sign up to your uh, newsletter list, or perhaps they sign up to be a volunteer. So you set in motion a very specific set of communications to go to those specific constituents and then execute it. Um, so that is, um, but I just wanna make sure that we're all on the same page <laughs> to get there. So again, we're gonna talk about these three different things we hope that you'll consider as you build Welcome Series. Holly, what do you think? Yeah, I think to get us right into it, the first thing that's really important to remember about Welcome Series is that they have to happen quickly and close to whatever behavior was executed by that constituent, that new donor, that person within your community. So Welcome Series are meant to build upon and strengthen an action that a person has just taken for your organization. So they need to happen close to that action. Close to that action means within that first communication should be happening within sort of one to three days of the donation, the newsletter sign up, the volunteer action, whatever it may be. And then the next communications, be it another two, another three, another five, you get to decide how many communications go out in your welcome series. But those need to be evenly paced and happening with some amount of regularity and quickness to them. Because what we're doing here is building a pattern of familiarity so that the more information we're offering out to the constituent for having taken that behavior, we're trying to expand their excitement and leverage that excitement over something that they just did. So we need it to be top of mind. We need it to be really current. So number one is quick pacing when it comes to a welcome series. Yeah. Tracy, what's the second thing you think is super important when it comes to thinking about potentially launching a welcome series? Yeah, when you were just talking about all the different elements and this quick pace, my mind went directly to, you gotta have a plan. And that plan needs to be well thought out. It needs to be connected to your strategic fundraising goals. And also probably needs to have some buy-in with your colleagues at your organization. Oh, yeah. Um, maybe, maybe you're a one person shop and that's awesome, but you probably need to talk with your director. You need to talk with your communications people. And if that's all you, um, that's great. But I would say gather as much information and connection and buy-in from your team, uh, so that they also understand how the welcome series is going to help build, uh, your fundraising strategy, but also help you towards your strategic goals, um, as an organization. Um, so, and I would also suggest you write that plan out. Um, and then test it, you know, that's definitely really as a part of it. Um, the last thing I think about when it comes to strategy is it's important not to let perfection be the enemy of the good um, yeah. in this case specifically, because I love welcome series. I think I've seen it work in practice in organizations where I've worked before. And I absolutely think that uh, they can be helpful for you as you build that knowledge and trust and donor loyalty um, within your donor base or those who who love and care about what you do so um, but a, a well thought out plan that's connected to goals is critical for it to be successful as you get started i really i couldn't agree more on yeah. that front you really have to think about how is this entire thing rolling out within all the other goals of our fundraising program for the year which is actually a really nice segue then into our third recommendation when it comes to building out a welcome series is that you need to have a clear call to action at the end of your welcome series. So a welcome series is both informative and cultivating. It's offering more information to donors about your organization, the work that you do, your mission impact, how communities are helping to lift themselves up by having you as a partner to them. Mm -hmm. But by the end of your welcome series, you need to be driving your folks to an action. So if those are first time donors who came to you through your year end campaign, ask them to become a recurring donor. Maybe your organization has been eyeing, wanting to up the amount of recurring donors you have overall. And a welcome series to new donors is a really brilliant way to ask people to, to convert from being a one-time donor into a monthly donor. Yep. You may also think about your welcome series, a call to action could be making a special 13th gift if it's 
happens to be landing around Valentine's Day and you're showing some Valentine's love. But think about what's the call to action and how does that align with what the calendar is doing and also the people that you're asking. The one thing I also do want to note as you're thinking about those call to actions and how to execute and timing and all of that is welcome series do require logistics. You have to know your email marketing software well. You have to understand how to run lists and make drip campaigns and automation. And that can take some additional capacity and learning. So also pace yourself. Don't think that you can necessarily get a welcome series up and going within a week. There are going to be some new skills you have to learn. But oh man, as Tracy said, welcome series, when they play out in reality and you have learned those skills, really do convert donors into more expansive partners to your organizations because you've given them this new opportunity to expand how they interact with you. So that's our three big hints for you when it comes to thinking about welcome series is first of all, you gotta do them quickly, be ready to set them up close to when those donation actions or those other actions are happening. Have a really clear plan and strategy for how are you going to execute this and how does it support other goals your organization has? And then clear call to action, know what you want to ask those people to do by the end of your welcome series. Trace, any last thoughts that you would offer here around what makes for awesome, creative, successful welcome series? I would just say, try it out. Don't be afraid. Uh, be creative um, and en enjoy the this this option to build a deeper relationship with your donors. I just think that it's it's something that's a lot of fun um, and building on the technology that's there. Hopefully, that maybe you already have or perhaps you get introduced to your organization. I just don't be afraid. Try it out and enjoy testing it and seeing what happens uh, as you meet your goals. And that's that's honestly what we're hoping for is that wow. you know as you visit it and listen to them, these videos and that you're trying in the world to bring good to the world that you are accomplishing your goals and feeling really successful as a fundraiser. So um, thanks Holly for uh, chatting with me about Welcome Series a little bit. And we want to thank you for watching uh, this uh, version or uh, of threading it together. We're grateful that you're here. We would ask that uh, if you found this helpful, please share it with other fundraisers you might know um, and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come back and visit often. Um, we will be talking more about things that pertain to end of your fundraising and bigger, the bigger fundraising picture as we go uh, on um, and introduce new videos to this channel. So please subscribe and share as you will. And of course, we encourage you, if you have specific questions about fundraising and want to reach out to us directly as fundraising consultants, please give us a, give us a call or an email. Um, you can find our contact information at threadstrategies.com. Otherwise, uh, thanks again and happy fundraising.